Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you 5 fun glitches in GTA Online that are working as of the latest patch 1.58. This first glitch will allow you to use your weapons in Dr. Dre's recording studio. To do this, come to the studio and find this door in particular. You'll need to run into this door as fast as you can and try to get to the back of the room, as you will quickly come to realise the game will almost always force you to walk out. However, this isn't always perfect. Sometimes the game messes up and it forces you to walk further into the room. This could take quite a few attempts for this to happen. I've had some success with waiting on the NPCs to walk in and out of the room, but ultimately it's just down to chance. Once you manage to get into this room, make sure you touch the far back wall. In doing so, you will get the ability to use your weapons. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see or kill other players, but other players will certainly be able to see you and will be helpless to stop you from burning the place to the ground. This second one is a small but pretty fun glitch with a Dodo seaplane. First of all, get your hands on a dodo. Once you have one, invite your friend to an MC or CEO with friendly fire turned off. Tell your friend to get in the seaplane and slowly approach the blades of the plane. Once you're a few inches away from the blades, press the jump button. You should get launched fairly high up in the air. Just like any other launch glitch, the results may vary, but most of the time you can get some good launches out of it. This third glitch will allow you to drive a fully invisible car. To start off with, come to your auto shop and customise one of these customer cars. I would recommend selecting a relatively fast car and fully upgrading the engine, brakes and transmission. Once you do that, just simply drive it to the drop-off point. Once you're at the drop-off, you'll need to tell your friend to start up any mission and have them sit on this lobby screen. These next steps will need to be done fairly quickly. Drive into the yellow circle and join your friend's game. This can either be done through the dashboard or by an invite. As soon as you get the alert to join, accept it, and then tell your friend to leave the mission lobby as fast as they can. Once they do that, you should get this alert that says, player is no longer in session. When you accept this alert, you should load back into your game with a fully invisible car. The two cool things about this is that you'll be able to phase through all traffic and you'll be completely unable to get a wanted level. Exiting the car will cause the delivery to be completed and your invisible car will cease to exist. This fourth glitch will allow you to bypass the cooldown on the stun gun, which means you'll be able to continuously keep players stunned for as long as you want. If you haven't got a stun gun, you'll need to purchase it from your agency armory. Once you do that, go to any one of your gun lockers and set the stun gun to hide. Once that's done, disable your custom weapon loadout from the interaction menu. These next few steps should be done as quick as you possibly can. The faster you can do this, the faster you can shoot your stun gun. First aim and shoot your stun gun. Go to inventory and then go to enable custom weapon loadout. Press it once to enable, and then press it once again to disable the loadout. Back out of the interaction menu and then once again select your stun gun. The cooldown of your stun gun should have been reset, and you're free to fire again. If you want to keep someone on the floor, you'll need to constantly rinse and repeat these steps very quickly. It can be hard to get the hang of at first, but it does get easier with time. And finally, it's only fitting that we finish off this video with a festive launch glitch. Tis the season after all. To do this glitch, you'll need a dump truck. These can either be found in Sandy Shores or purchased from the Warstock Cash and Carry website. Once you have one of these trucks, bring it to the Christmas tree in this location and reverse it into the side of the tree. Get out of the truck, get a car and then park it in front of the truck. This will help you climb on top of it. Once you're on top of the dump truck, go up to the tree and try to jump onto this lantern. After a few attempts, your character should eventually phase into the tree, and you should be launched upwards at pretty high speeds. Once again, the results you get from this may vary. I hope you liked these glitches, and I hope you had an awesome Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone.